My name is Dianesh Patel, and I'm an assistant professor of medicine in the Division of Gastroenterology, Hepatology, and Nutrition at the Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. I was asked by the editors of Gastroenterology to discuss a paper coming out soon titled Development and Validation of a Mucosal Impedance Contour Analysis System to Distinguish Esophageal Disorders. Current diagnostic testing for chronic esophageal disorders, such as eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE, and GERD, rely on either esophageal biopsies, as in the setting of EOE, or uncomfortable transnasal catheters or prolonged wireless pH monitoring in the setting of GERD. We aim to develop a novel tool that is able to detect changes in the lining of esophageal epithelium and distinguish these disorders instantly during endoscopy. We developed a balloon MI catheter that detects changes in the conductivity of the esophageal epithelium by measuring the transepithelial resistance and permeability. The aim of our study was to investigate MI contour pattern in patients with GERD and EOE and develop a prediction model using MI measurements that can be used by clinicians to reliably and rapidly distinguish various esophageal pathology during endoscopy. We enrolled patients who were referred to our Vanderbilt Esophageal Center for suspected GERD and EOE. All patients underwent upper endoscopy. Patients that had suspected GERD also underwent a 48-hour wireless pH monitoring, 7 to 10 days off acid suppressive therapy, and in patients with suspected EOE, they had both distal and proximal esophageal biopsies. All patients underwent testing with the new balloon MI catheter system. We introduced the balloon through the mouth under endoscopic guidance, and the distal sensors were positioned right above the squamoclumnar junction. The balloon was inflated using a calibrated inflation device, and the MI measurements were obtained over 90 seconds. Based on the endoscopic, pH monitoring, and pathology, the patients were stratified into three groups either GERD, which was based on endoscopic evidence of esophagitis, or total percent time pH less than 4 of more than 5.5%, or EOE, which was based on distal and as proximal esophageal biopsies of greater than 15 eosinophils per high power field, or non-GERD, which was either normal endoscopy and normal pH. We found that our patients had a unique MI contour pattern that allows us to distinguish GERD, EOE, and normal during endoscopy. As shown here, this is a heat map of impedance measurements. As shown on the right, red indicates low impedance values, while blue and green indicates high impedance values or normal lining. As in the setting of EOE, as seen in the middle, red, which is low impedance, is present throughout the esophagus, uh, which is classic for EOE while in patients with GERD, because acid reflux causes more damage to the distal lining of the esophagus, the mucosal impedance values are low or red in the distal esophagus as seen here, but normalize to green or blue as you get farther away from the squamoclumnar junction, while patients with normal, which is all the way on the right, have blue or green or high values throughout the esophagus. We validated this unique MI signature for EOE, GERD, and normal at three other tertiary care medical centers. As seen here, we developed a prediction model using MI measurements that can help clinicians distinguish EOE, GERD, and normal during endoscopy. The x-axis is the intercept, while the y-axis is the slope. The intercept is the MI value in the sensor closest to the squamoclumnar junction while the slope is how fast the MI values rise as you get farther away from the squamal coronary junction. As seen here in the bottom right, patients that have low MI values or low intercept close to squamal coronary junction and also have a low slope, which means their MI values don't change significantly as you get farther away from squamal coronary junction, they're more likely to be eosinophilic esophagitis, while patients with GERD, as shown in red, have low MI values or low intercept closer to squamal columnar junction, but have a greater slope, which means their MI values rise as you get farther away from squamal columnar junction, while gray is normal patients. 
In conclusion, we have a novel balloon MI device that instantly detects changes in esophageal mucosal integrity during endoscopy and able to distinguish GERD and EOE versus normal. We are very excited about this new technology and believe that MI testing will change how we diagnose GERD and EOE. It is well tolerated, does not involve transnasal catheters, esophageal biopsies, or prolonged monitoring. It has the ability to provide diagnosis instantly during endoscopy and thus reduce both diagnostic and treatment latency for our patients.